When a patient comes with high colored urine or yellowish discoloration of the sclera, then we should think about jaundice. Actually, jaundice is not a disease, it is a symptom. When a patient comes with that, you have to think about many things. If the patient is young, we have to think about viral hepatitis. There are a few common viral hepatitis which is spread through the food and water. They are the hepatitis A and hepatitis E. These viruses, are, these are self-limiting diseases. So we need to have uh, just supportive treatment for that. But sometimes a patient comes along with this severe abdominal pain, then we should rule out a biliary stone in the sense, if the patient has got a bile duct stone, if the, the gallbladder stone which can migrate into the bile duct and this can cause jaundice along with abdominal pain. So if this is the case, then we have to do an endoscopic treatment called ERCP wherein we can go into the bile duct through the endoscope and take out the stone. Sometimes the stones will be quite big. So in that case also we have the laser lithotripsy. We have a, uh, we have a small endoscope called spyglass cholangioscope wherein we can go into the bile duct and powder the stones with laser uh, lithotripsy and we can remove any big stones. That is not at all a problem now. Earlier these patients used to go for surgery. So that is one common cause of uh, jaundice. But if the patient is little older, if the patient is more than 40, then we have to think about a certain other conditions called uh, pancreatic malignancies. If the patient has got a tumor in the head of pancreas, it can obstruct the bile duct and ca can cause jaundice. So if that is the case, then we have to do an endoscopic ultrasound or CT scan and then we have to decide about the management of the treatment. If, if the patient comes early, we can give the patient for surgery. Or if the patient is uh, comes late, we can't do a surgery, then we have the option of placing a metal stent into the bile duct and relieving the jaundice. Also, we have the endoscopic ultrasound guided celiac block wherein if the pancreas has got a tumor and it is causing severe pain, we can relieve the pain by giving a neurolysis or injection through the endoscopic ultrasound. So that is one cause of uh, jaundice. The other is the bile duct tumor itself can present as jaundice. So in this case, if the patient comes uh, with jaundice, then we have to do a spyglass cholangioscopy after doing a CT scan and take a biopsy from the tumor inside the bile duct. And we can we have the radio frequency ablation. This is a small probe which can be passed through the endoscopy and then burn the tumor and then we can see how much it has burnt. And if it is completely burned, then we can place a metal tube, metal stent and then relieve the jaundice also. So this is in fact, we can burn the tumor and also we can place a stent and that is a one time uh, procedure in one single anesthesia. Then we have uh, two other jaundice that is hepatitis B and hepatitis C. These are the two viruses which can cause severe liver damage. So when, we, when a patient has hepatitis B or C, we should do certain things, especially if the patient is older, we should be a little careful. Uh, we have to assess the quantitative levels of these viruses inside the blood. So for that, we have special tests called uh, the hepatitis, for hepatitis C, it's the HCV RNA levels. And if it is hepatitis B, it's hep H hepatitis B uh, virus levels, that's HPV DNA levels. If the levels are very high and the liver is showing some abnormality, then we have to start treatment. We have excellent treatment for this hepatitis C and hepatitis B now so that we can prevent major liver damage and liver tumor.